your fantastic elastic brain. Stretch it, shape it. By Joanne Deek, PhD. Illustrated by Sarah Ackerley. What does your brain really do? Does it fill the space between your ears? Well, yes, but your brain could do so much more. Hello in there. All I see is pink stuff. Your brain helps you think and remember and name what you see and what you hear. It lets you move your body and feel both touch and emotions. Your brain does all the things that make you, you. Likes red foods. Favorite word is elbow. Ping pong champ. Knows global landmarks. Good at science. Enjoys reading pirate books. She's so unique. My favorite word is foot. So what is your brain? Is it a muscle? No, the brain is an organ in your body. It's made up of cells and tissue. The brain controls everything you do, everything you think, everything you feel, even everything you dream. Greetings, Earthlings. Welcome to Planet Organ. Hey, I had that same dream. The brain has many parts that do all kinds of different jobs. Whoa, that pink stuff is busy. Cerebrum. The cerebrum is the largest part of your brain. It helps you think and speak. Cerebellum. The cerebellum is a small part at the back of the brain that helps your muscles to coordinate your movement and your balance so that you can walk, ride a bike, or play tag. Prefrontal cortex. The prefrontal cortex, PFC for short, is the part of your brain behind your forehead. It lets you make plans and decisions. Hippocampus. The hippocampus is at the center of your brain. It works like a file cabinet to help you store and find memories. Amygdala. The amygdala is a tightly packed group of cells deep within the center of the brain that controls your emotions. Neurons. Neurons are everywhere in your brain. They are tiny brain cells that make electrical signals to send messages to other cells in your body, telling them what to do. When you were born, you were very little. Your brain was small and not so strong. As you get older, your body grows and gets stronger. As part of your body, your brain grows and learns to do new things. And you can make your brain do even more. Like elastic bands that stretch when you pull them, even things that are hard at first, or that you don't like to do, or that you don't do very well. Get easier when you keep trying. Nice kick. Even when you make a mistake while you're learning something new, you are still training your brain. You will remember that mistake and try something else until you get it right. Making mistakes is one of the best ways your brain learns and grows. If you aren't willing to risk being wrong, you won't take the chances that stretch your elastic brain. You could stretch the part of your brain that controls your feelings too. If you are frightened about taking a risk, like learning to swim, finding the courage to put your face in the water stretches your amygdala. It will remind you that you overcame your fear. So you will be braver the next time something scares you, like diving into the water.
Learning something new causes the brain to grow more connections among, among the neurons. With more connections, the neurons can send and receive more messages. These connections help to stretch a part of your brain and make it more elastic so that it could hold more information and ideas. How does a brain stretch and grow? A word that begins with neuro has something to do with the brain. A sculptor molds, shapes, or carves things out of clay or wood or stone. So, you shape your brain when you make it bigger by adding new things you know and can do. You are a neuro sculptor. How did you do that? Neurons, my feathered friend. When you learn something new, you're building on what you have already learned. In the same way that the muscles in your body work together when you want to lift a heavy object or kick a ball, the different parts of your brain work together when you're learning something new. The brain that makes you, you, really is an amazing organ. It controls what you think, do, feel, and remember. Your brain is growing very fast during the first 10 years of life, and now we know that you could help it grow. When you try hard to learn something new, connections grow from neurons and attach to other neurons. Then, your brain can send messages faster, making part of your brain bigger and stronger. Making mistakes really helps you learn because your brain keeps trying new things and stretching until you figure out the answer to your problem. You are shaping a more elastic brain when you learn new things that build on what you already know. The more you learn and think about different kinds of things, the more you can learn, know, and enjoy. The harder you try without giving up, the more you will learn. You really can train your brain to be fit and strong and to keep stretching and growing throughout your whole life.